once I've tuned the snare drum to a pitch that I'm happy with and that I want it to sound at, it makes sense to make sure that all of the lug positions around the edge of the drum have got the same frequency so that the drum head vibrates smoothly and evenly. It also makes sense to double check that the resonant drum head and the batter head are tuned relevant to each other and they're both tuned sensibly so they operate together uh, to create a, a good warm tone of the drum. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I've tuned this drum to around about 190 hertz, which I know is a good sound for this drum. Take a reading, 192 hertz. Just listen to it with the snare on. It's a good solid snare sound. Uh, okay, so we can take lug readings around the edge of the drum. So I just set I drum tune in lug mode to uh, 10 lugs. Take the first reading and then at every low pitch. Okay, and what I can see is that a couple of lugs are just a little bit lower than the other frequencies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tune up those two blue lugs a little bit. One, two, and uh, I think everything else pretty close is within 0.5. So having done that, let's just take, so let's just take another reading. Switch on. Okay, so that's great. I've got all of the lugs now within one hertz of each other, and that's pretty good at, at a high frequency like 294 hertz. So I know that this drum head is tuned evenly, it's sounding smooth. So the next thing I can do is to check the resonant tuning factor. Now, the resonant tuning factor, as we've, as we've mentioned in other videos, really defines the ratio between the over sorry, the, the fundamental frequency at the center and the overtone at the edge. And that gives us an understanding of how the two drum heads are tuned because the resonant drum head actually changes that ratio of those two frequencies. So in resonant tuning mode, let's just take a reading at the center and a reading at the edge. Okay, and that tells me I've got a resonant tuning factor of 1.53. Now, we recommend that uh, a resonant tuning factor of 1.5 is good because that represents a perfect fifth on the musical scale. A resonant tuning factor of 1.61 is quite nice because that represents a, a perfect sixth on the musical scale. But actually, it, it doesn't have to be musical. Anywhere in between those two numbers is great. If you get a bit below 1.5, then it starts to sound a bit too close to the fundamental. If you get a bit, if you get too far above 1.6, then it starts to sound uh, much further out of the kind of musical range and it's heading towards an octave. And that's, that's not, you're making most use of the richness of the drum. So we recommend between 1.5 and 1.6-ish is a good value. So, well anyway, let's, this is 1.53. Let's see if we can just pull that down a little bit towards exactly 1.5. And this says, uh, uh, it gives some information, it says loosen the batter head and tighten the underside to decrease the RTF. And what that means is, is the batter head is a bit too tight and the resonant head is a bit too loose. So if I modify those things, we'll get closer to a, an RTF value of 1.5. So what I'm gonna do is just take down the batter head a little and bring up the resonant head a little. Now what that should do is, it should still keep the pitch around the same because the top head and the bottom head both affect pitch. So taking one down and bringing the other up should keep us around the same point, but it changes the relationship between those two heads. So let's just take all of the lugs on the top down a bit, little nudge. And 
and then on the underside, turn these all up a bit. test the RTF again. Let's reset that. Centre reading and the edge reading. Okay, so we've now got an RTF of 1.49. So that's shown that by loosening the top and increasing the bottom we can make those heads, uh, we can change that relationship and that's great because it means whenever we change the drum heads we can go back to the similar relationship that we had before. Um, and like I say, we recommend using a tuning factor of 1.5 uh, as a good starting point. There's no major rules, so if you want to go a bit higher or a little bit lower than that, that's great. But 1.5 to 1.6 is the range that we think makes ensures that the two drum heads are working really well together. So now we've got a drum that's tuned to 190 hertz. Uh, I could go around and tune the lugs again, but I won't do that just now. But we know the lugs are fairly fairly evenly tuned. We know that the resonant and the batter head are, are, are working very well together. And so we should be pretty happy with the sound. So this is the sound. It's got a really smooth decay. It's got no warbling or modulation of the decay tone. Uh, it's got a good solid sound, but it's also got that kind of cut. Um, this is a great sounding drum. So, uh, so it's, it would be useful in a, in a lot of different styles.